Hello everyone. Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020, and we've got two weeks of school left. Wow. Let's talk about the class and today's agenda, as you can see right here. Uh, I'm going to tell you a joke today. I'm going to keep it to one because I don't have a live audience. We're going to talk about the grades and assignment updates because of the updated schedule that we now have from the district. So good news first. Um, we now know exactly what we're dealing with, right? So let's talk about what that means for our class today. But first, a joke. Okay, so here's the joke. What is the essential question to ask when buying a pencil? What's the essential question to ask? The question is, to be or not to be? Yes, I thought you'd like that. All right, so that's my quite that's my joke. Um, and let's move on. So remember, some things about this particular class: everyone will pass. Yes, everyone. Yes, everyone will pass. And if you're somehow close, I'll reach out and work with you. Um, but I, I, everyone's going to pass. That I'm going to guarantee. Also, I can guarantee that late work gets full credit. Yes, late work gets full credit. Late work gets full credit. So those two things, I've said that multiple times, but I'm going to highlight that for you because you need to know that, right? So those two things are um, kind of, they should be in the background of your mind when you're thinking about this class, okay? Everyone's going to pass. I'm, that means I'm going to pass. And all of my work, late work, gets full credit. Okay. The third thing to keep in mind now with the shifted dates from the district is that everything is due on June 5th. June 5th. June 5th. That's when everything is due. And I'll give you until 11.59 p.m. on that day, the very last minute that I can. Okay? So everything is due on June 5th. Now, that is different from what we have talked about in past weeks, and that's because the schedule has changed. So we need to change our assignment as well. And what I've been trying to figure out is what is uh, a reasonable way to do that, and that's fair to you, but also covers the content that you need to cover, right? So let's talk about that. So these are all the due dates, and I have updated this on Khan Academy and on Google Classroom, and I will also email this out. But essentially, we have done trig and stats. Okay, those two have been due already, and now we move on to Algebra 2 and Pre-Calc. And these Khan Academy assignments, um, what the biggest modification I have made is to Algebra 2. So that assignment I'm asking you to complete 65% of now. So I took up a, the largest chunk, the lar largest modification I could make was in Algebra 2. Why did I make it on Algebra 2 and not on Pre-Calc or Delta Math? It's because out of these assignments, 3, three through 6, I believe the Algebra 2 assignment is the most intensive and requires the most work. So in order to help you succeed and get through all your work, this assignment, the third option here, remember you're still picking four out of six, I've reduced the third one significantly. Now before we talk about each of these assignments individually, and I will remind you of this later, um, what assignment should you, do, should you do and in what order? Well, basically everyone has done trig, and most people have done probability and stats. So out of the four remaining, which two would I recommend that you pick. Okay, well, I would do Khan Algebra 2 and Pre-Calc if you liked working on Khan Academy. Okay, so if you liked Khan Academy, stick with it. But in terms of time and efficiency and thinking about next year in Pre-Calc, out of the four remaining choices, if I was thinking about pre-calculus and time, the two things I would definitely do, I think that the quickest, are four and six. So out of three, four, five, and six, the Con Pre-Calc series is very quick. Let me just show you what I mean. If I go over to Khan Academy here, uh, you can see I'm, I'm still working on these, right? So if I go to Pre-Calculus, why is it so quick? Well, if I click on Pre-Calculus, I'm not asking you to do everything here. I'm just asking you to do one thing. I'm asking you to do this, the series unit. Okay, and in the series unit, you can see there's only 1,500 mastery points that need to happen. That, so that is fairly quick. And if you click on it and scroll through it, you'll see what I mean. You've got something, it starts with something that you are familiar with, right? Arithmetic sequences, and it has a little quiz on it, geometric sequences, a little quiz, geometric series, 
right, quiz, and then summation notation with geometric series, and then a little bit more in arithmetic, and that's basically it. This is a week's worth of work, right? So this assignment right here is fairly straightforward. It's much less intensive than the trig or probability and stats. So I definitely do that pre-calc series, all right? I would do the delta math series as well because it covers the same topic, but the question styles are slightly different. So four and six series and sequences are really, really, really important in pre-calculus, so I would definitely do those. I would definitely do choice five, algebra two review, if you feel like you want some review on all the things you've covered from this year. So I put a kind of um, really nice blend of questions for you to try. So the delta math algebra two, do that if you want to look back on all the things from this year, right? From logarithms uh, to trig to everything we've covered. And if you've done trig and probability and stats, and you have two more to go, and you're sick of Khan Academy, I understand. Do complete choices five and six. Stick with Delta Math. Now, if we look at all the assignments, this is pretty much the same, but I'll go through it. Con trig, that's due on, that was due on May 5th, and I just give you a score out of 90. For probability and stats, that was due yesterday, I'm going to give you a score out of 65. And there is still this extra credit, right? For every 10 percentage points you go beyond 65%, I'll give you a half a point to your yearly average. And if you reach 100%, you'll get 2% on your yearly average. So that's a lot of bonus right there. The biggest change, as I said earlier, is now in Algebra 2. If you're choosing to do this assignment, just know that I'm only asking you to reach 65% mastery. Right, that's the goal, reach 65%, which is why the grading, as you just saw, is out of 65. Right? Will there be a bonus here if you reach 100%? Yes, but that's part of the bonus uh, that you would receive if you do all the assignments. So only go for 100% in Algebra 2 if you, A, want to and are interested in learning that content in that way, or reviewing that content in that way, I should say, or if you plan on doing all the assignment, all of the assignments and want that bonus added on. The pre-calc series, as I said, I'm grading that out of the 1,500 mastery points. And so I'm just going to take however many mastery points you have in the pre-calc series, all right, and divide by 1,500. For delta math, algebra 2 review, and delta math series, um, you can choose the due dates for those. At this point, if you're using those two as your final two assignments, you would have those due dates be the 29th of May, for one of them and then June 5th for the other because everything is due on June 5th. So what is the bonus for completing all six assignments? Now when I say completing all six, I mean really completing. Basically getting 100% on all of them. Yes, if you get 99% instead of 100, I'll consider that, but getting 100% on all of them will certainly give you a bonus. Right, it'll certainly give you a bonus. What will the bonus be? I don't know exactly. I have to look at the numbers and I'm not gonna answer that question until I have my data in front of me. Okay, so you need to be patient on that one. So these are all the due dates. I'm also sending out a Google form because because I'm offering six assignments and saying that you're choosing four of them, I need to know which four are you choosing, right? Which four? Let's finish by looking at the form that I'm asking you to fill out, right? So put your information in, pick a period, and then here on this page, I break down each of the assignments and all I need to know is what is your plan for each assignment. Your plan, what do you intend to do? So for, for the trig assignment, that was due a while ago, but I want to know, are you going to go to 90% or try and reach 90% or are you going for the 100% to try to get some kind of bonus? So at this point you might be thinking, maybe I'll go for it if I have time. I'll go for that 100% and get a bonus. All right, then pick this one. For con stats, right, maybe you tried it, but you don't want to do it. So maybe that's one of the two assignments you'll skip. But if you want to complete it, click this one right here. You're going to try to reach 65%. That's completion. That's 100%, right? If you think you might go for the bonus, then click the last one. And for Khan Academy Algebra 2, again, if you're going to skip it, click skip it. If you're going to try to complete it for 65%, click this one. If you want to try to go for 100% and get some kind of bonus for completing all six assignments, then pick the last choice. And for pre-calc, it's the same thing. Are you going to skip it? I hope you don't. I hope you try it and try it as an assignment or try it as a bonus for all six assignments. What's your plan? I'm curious. For Delta Math, Algebra 2, skip it, complete it, or complete it to 100% as a bonus, right? What's your choice, right? These are completing it as an assignment versus 
completing as part of a bonus to get all six done, you're only going to pick that last choice if you're going to try all six assignments, right? If you think you're going to go for that. Otherwise, just complete it as an assignment here. And again, same thing at this part. So go through all of them. And then on the last, uh, I'm just telling you that here, everything is due on June 5th. Click on this to indicate that you understand. And I'm curious, what do you want to do? Do you want to take a pass or fail in this course? Is that your plan? Do you want to take a numeric grade? Or maybe you have no idea, right? And it's not guaranteed. You're not signing anything here. You're not, you're not um, held to this choice. So if you pick numeric and then later want to do pass, fail, that's fine. Um, but here, at the very end, tell me what your reasoning is. What are you thinking so I can give you feedback and help you out? So if you pick numeric, um, you might just say that I believe I can use this quarter to raise my yearly average. Maybe that's your reason. Maybe that's what's motivating you. Then you click Next and submit it. That's it. That's the whole process. Now I think here, just so you know, if you pick I have no idea and I am having a rough time right now in general maybe maybe that's you um i just put one extra question in there if if you're if you're picking you know that you're not sure i'm just i'm asking you are you leaning more in one direction or the other why what are you maybe thinking i'm trying to nudge you in a direction so that we can have a useful conversation all right thank you